what is going on everybody let me straighten the camera up how are you doing welcome back to the channel we're here with another food review of course we are back at a place that i love one of my favorite places to go fast food wise and everybody else is like and we don't care for it well um i love it uh I never have any problems with any of the uh, reasons why everybody else don't like it. So I guess that's the reason why I like it. And of course I'm talking about Taco Bell. We got our sugar-free Baja Blast because it is a must when you get a Taco Bell to get a sugar-free Baja Blast. And what we got today is the new Cravings Box that they call it. Um, it's a Grilled Cheese Deluxe Cravings Box. It comes with a Grilled Cheese Burrito beef chalupa nacho cheese dip and cheese chips or nacho chips and then a baja blast zero which i got it come to eight dollars and 67 cents eight dollars and 67 cents uh, lunch was on my uncle today he decided that he would buy me lunch because i did something for him the other day so he gave me the money to buy lunch so the video is brought to you by him today <laughs> but um let's go ahead and take this sealed for your protection thing off we got that going on here taco bell still using those little stickers um we're in emporia today i don't really get to emporia a whole lot we're here today for uh short while so i figured we'd knock out a 20 minute video or so can't never get the camera to set up right oh my goodness okay we got a taco oh we got a taco supreme too i didn't realize it came with that those chips are stale oh boy hmm well, I'll start with the grilled cheese burrito, and we'll just work our way to the left here. Um, or we'll work from right to left. The grilled cheese burrito is messy. We did it before. They only put cheese on one side, obviously. Didn't know that, but okay. But um, we're going to go ahead and... Uh, move it up on the the old blanket here and give her a give her a diaper and we're gonna take our diablo sauce no introductions needed by the way and we're gonna knock this on there because we love spicy mmm see Oh, it's got that Chipotle in it. Heller. I don't remember that from the first one. <laughs> don't choke on the Baja Blast. It's un-American. Mm. Oh, man. Oh. Man, Baja Bartle Skeet, man. I just love it. But, okay, anyway. Let's get our sauce back. This is... Not that there's not enough going on in this burrito already, but... I love their Diablo sauce. Mmm. All right. Now, we're a couple bites in, so we're down to the the meat and potatoes, which this one really don't have potatoes. So we're down to the meats of this burrito here. And you got chipotle sauce, sour cream, nacho cheese, beef, uh, rice, and those little uh, fajita strips. So it's a six ingredient burrito. You can see right there, it's a Taco Bell burrito, so it's layered. The wrong direction, but layered anyway. Mm 
it's um it's a decent burrito. When I tried this burrito the first time, when they originally come out with this grilled stuff or grilled cheese burrito, I, it was a little better, probably because it was grilled more. This one, the cheese is still kind of uh, stringy. Um, the idea is for the cheese to have a crunch to it. This one don't really have a crunch to it. So a little bit more time in the grill, a little light on that side too. Uh, they have that little press thing that they use. Um, so it needed a little bit more time there. But other than that, I mean, it's decent. It's a good bite. It's got everything in it. You get, it's got a lot of flavor in it. It's just that I never did understand why this was the replacement for the grilled stuffed burrito. Uh, the XXL grilled stuffed burrito was by far one of my favorite things on Taco Bell. I didn't care if it cost $8 or not. I was buying it every time I go there. I know those chips are horrible. I don't know if I'm going to be able to do the nachos, guys. These chips are stale. But, I mean, it's good. It's just, yeah. Mmm. I mean, it's good. I love the sauce. Their chipotle sauce, absolute fire, by the way. Taco Bell's chipotle sauce is amazing. It always has been. I don't, ever since they've introduced it years ago. I remember when I was a little kid, we went to Taco Bell a lot. And um, after they opened the Taco Bell over there, and... Uh, we actually lived up here for a while too, back in middle school. Now I remember going to Taco this actually this Taco Bell, and um, I remember them putting the uh, the chipotle sauce on the menu. I mean, it was on the menu before that, but I don't guess I knew about it when I was younger. And so when I found out that they had that chipotle sauce, I started having to put it on everything. Hmm. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and try the nacho cheese, and I don't want to hear nothing about it because it's nacho cheese. Anyway, little t -t Kentucky Ballistics just. You know, you can buy this in a can at Walmart. They have Taco Bell cheese at Walmart. It's okay. It's warm. But the chips are horrible. I can't do it. The chips are as stale as stale can get. This Diablo sauce says problem solved. Solving our problems. Don't know what problems. Or maybe constipation, actually. It's probably the problem they're solving. Taco Bell! Curing constipation for 80 plus years. I honestly don't know when Taco Bell came out, but I'm guessing it was like 1930s, 1940s probably. Maybe not. I don't know. They, so much, um, we're going to eat the Doritos Locos taco this time now. Um, I love these things, too. As long as the shell is not as stale as the uh, tortilla chips, we'll be okay. But let's get it out of here. You know, it's a Doritos Loco Taco, man. Everybody's had one of these. You didn't have to review these. They're, they're the best, probably the best thing since fast food taco invention. It's a Dorito shell for a taco. Mm-mm-mm. There's nothing to say about that. It's just good. You have a taco with Dorito powder all over it. Not going to be wrong. Um, I mean, they got a lot of cheese in there. 
A lot of lettuce, they're a minuscule amount of meat. That's how they cut that cost. That's how they cut that cost. It's a joking amount of taco meat water and taco seasoning. I gotta give homegirl props, man. She sauced your boy up. Which I like. Made up for the stale chips. And this one here, this has got to be the second, my second most favorite thing on the Taco Bell menu. They didn't give me like three napkins. But my second most favorite thing on the Taco Bell menu currently is this, which is a chalupa. Now, if you've ever had Mexican fry bread tacos, you've had a chalupa. But see you on the other side, it says. I don't know about all that. Two of them say that. Mm. But you gotta get your sauce on there. Get you a good bite of sauce too, by the way. Mm. I believe it's an Indian taco I'm thinking of. But they use this like puff pastry type dough. Um, or my friend Tanya that passed away used to make them all the time. And she told me what the bread was. And I can't remember. It has like a weird name. But she used to make them all the time. And I know someone's going to be in the comments being like, no, this is what it is. Well, my bad. I didn't realize. Um, sorry. Mm. You gotta get that sauce on there. Mm. You gotta miss your mouth and drop half the cheese on your camera bag too. It's a requirement. Stopped at Sonic earlier on the way here. Diet cherry limeade. Not bad, not bad. Didn't feel like eating Sonic today, though. I, guess. I felt like, what is the old slogan? Thinking outside the box for a little bit, or outside the bun, or whatever their slogan used to be. Open late. <laughs> I don't know. Taco Bell, it's one of the only places, fast food wise, they open at like 2 o'clock in the morning. And I remember when I was a kid, they started that. Because when my mom was pregnant with my sister, I think it was, we used to have to come to Taco Bell at like 1.30 in the morning and get tacos because she would crave tacos.
which is the reason why I'm 300 pounds because we ate tacos at one o'clock in the morning. Mm. Last bite, get all that sauce on there. Mm. Woo, boy. That hits the old spot right there, boy. I'll tell you what. Out of Baja Blast. Oh my goodness. I figured since I had both of them were diet, I could drink two of them. Not what I thought at all, actually. I just didn't plan on getting Taco Bell until I got here and realized it looked really good and I wanted Taco Bell. So we're going we're gonna to stash the sauces down there because you're going to put those on something else later. But anyway, Taco Bell Cheesy Grilled Cheese Burrito Deluxe Box worth $8.89. Well, yeah, I guess. It's a decent amount of food for eight bucks. Uh, would have been better if the chips wouldn't be the same consistency as the box they're in because they were stale beyond stale got chips from last Tuesday. It's like McDonald's fries. I don't know what's up with that either, but yeah, I don't know about that. But anyway, um, good food. Cheese is good. Uh, chips are horrible. Sauce, always good. Um, the grilled cheese burrito needed to be a little bit more grilled. Other than that, it was good. Tastes fine. Um, every place nowadays is just getting cheap. Ooh, got the sinuses going with the hot sauce there. Anyway, um, every fast food place is just kind of like cutting corners and cost nowadays, and it's kind of disappointing. But I understand that, like, you know, we're in a recession slash whatever we're in $4 a gallon gas, $3 a gallon gas, and everything we got going on, but we have a lot of different, um, you know, opinions on what should be done to cut costs and what shouldn't be. And I, I, I think if you're paying, you know, nine, essentially $9 for something and the title thing, <laughs> it should have been the best thing in the box. And it really wasn't. And I, I don't, I'm in, I'm in love with the chalupas, man. I, that, that's my that's my jam when it comes to Taco Bell. So I didn't give the chalupa a ten out of ten. Chalupas and quesadillas when for Taco Bell is like my uh, my jam. And then the steak quesarito, which you have to use your app to order that, but you can still order it. They're like three of the best things. So and the Doritos Loco Taco is pretty good. It's better than a regular taco. I'm usually a soft taco guy, though. I had to say in that. So the crunchy shell, if I do eat a crunchy taco, it's a Doritos Locos taco, but I'm usually a soft taco guy. But anyway, so I'll give the um, the actual grilled cheese burrito, I'm going to give it a, well, we're rating on a scale of 10, so we're going to give it a 6. It was it was good. Had some flavor, had a lot of sauce in it. Had a, had a lot of ingredients in it. It was stuffed pretty well. It just didn't, it just could have been used a little bit more crunch. And it was a little flat on one, you know, they didn't really roll it all that great, but whatever. Um, The Chalupa, man, I got 10 out of 10 on it. Plenty of cheese, plenty of everything. Um, Lots of tomato. I love that they put a lot of tomato on those. Uh, Lots of hamburger in it. Uh, the Doritos Locos Taco, I'll give it an eight. Um, could have had more meat, uh, way too much lettuce, lots of cheese though. So that's okay. It's just proportions are off. Baja Blast 10 out of 10, like always. Zero sugar Baja Blast, best kind of Baja Blast you can get. 
just because I can't have the regular <laughs> stuff. <clears throat> and the chips were a zero. You get a you get a big fat F on the chips there, Taco Bell. I don't. I just don't see giving people chips that are made out of cardboard. They they were stale. And the nacho cheese sauce was edible, but it's not the best nacho cheese sauce I've ever had. I've never really cared for Taco Bell's nacho cheese sauce. It tastes fake, if that's if that makes any sense to you. In the cheese sauce category, it's more of an artificial cheese flavor than it is like a real cheese flavor. And what I mean by that is like, it tastes like they took a whole bunch of like Kraft singles and melted it down and put jalapeno juice in it. So three or f four on that. All together, we're going to give it an, uh, an, an um, the whole meal is a box by itself. You should go out and get it. Go out and try it. If you like it, put it in the comments below. I've got a couple of new subscribers, so welcome if you're watching this. Uh, thanks for the comments on the last video that I put up. I believe the last video of the video before. And uh, um, hope you all comment on this one. I mean, let me know what you think about the Taco Bell thing. Um, pretty decent. I mean, it's an edible meal. It's worth eight bucks, probably. Maybe. I don't know. What's worth eight? You know, nowadays it's worth eight dollars, but eight dollars two years ago, no, it wouldn't have been worth it. So, anyway, that's the video for the Taco Bell Grilled Cheese Burrito Deluxe Box with a Doritos Locos Taco and a Chalupa and a Nacho Cheese Chips that I didn't eat because they were gross. Uh, and a Baja Blast. I uh, hope you all liked this review. Um, sorry I didn't really go into it too much more than I usually do. I... I did a review on more of an in-depth review on the burrito than everything else because I've already done the reviews on everything else and they're in the channel somewhere if you want to go back and look I might link them in the description if I remember probably won't sorry um, but yeah so I'm gonna go ahead and end this video here before it gets a little bit too lengthy and uh, let me know in the comments below if you comment on this video like I said welcome to the new subscribers that I got last week and uh, let me know in the comments below what you want me to try uh, throw it up on there somewhere and uh, we're gonna start expanding our horizon out a little bit we get more time here I just did Taco Bell today because I was a little short on time but uh yeah hopefully we could figure out uh, different places to try there's a Panda Express across the street might try it one of these days I don't really like Panda Express never really have but maybe it's changed a little bit I ain't had Panda Express since I was in high school so that's been a minute ago but anyway, we'll talk to y'all the next time, and I uh, hope y'all enjoyed the video. Sorry I rambled on a little bit there at the end. Um, one more little thing at the end of this video, I'm going to put it at the end of the video so Google hopefully doesn't flag my video for it, but uh, you've noticed that there hasn't been a whole lot of videos up here lately. Uh, the videos that I put up before this one, the first, the last two videos, or one video, uh, the one for sure I know, but the last, maybe the last two that I put up before this one. Um, they've been pre they were pre-recorded way before this. I just hadn't had time to get put them up. Um, our little girl Kyla ended up getting COVID, so uh, I was off work for ten days and was stuck at the house for ten days with her because she had to quarantine for ten days and someone had to stay home with her. So I was stuck. I know we didn't get it. Um, me or my girlfriend, neither one got it. Uh, just she got it from school. Uh, she tested positive at school, and then we had to take her to the health department and she had to be tested positive again and then she had to quarantine for 10 days so I was off work from last Tuesday to yesterday that was no I was off work from two Tuesdays ago I was off from the second no I was off from the 20 something to the to yesterday so unfortunately and uh, I got paid for it of course I had vacation time but um, I just didn't get out to get any, couldn't go anywhere to make any videos. So the videos that you've seen this week and so on and so forth have been, they were, they're a couple weeks old. So I wanted to apologize for that. Not keeping a weekly schedule, been busy. So kind of had that going on. Can't really go anywhere to record. Didn't get a whole lot of gaming videos on 
either because I was taking care of her. And then she decided she wanted a puppy after the whole thing, so she got a puppy. So, well, now we got a puppy to take care of. But anyway, um, uh, links to the other channels are in the description. Make sure you subscribe to both of those if you want to see more content. And uh, we got the vlog channel down below that I really don't do that with. I need to start. And I have the gaming channel as well. So check those out in the description below. And I will see you all in the next one. Thank you very much for watching. Y'all have a good day.